YouTube channel. This week I'm going to be talking about some more rock paint. And I actually had someone ask me to paint some different things on rocks. And today I'm going to show you one of the things I got done. It was pretty challenging. It was a snail. Here it is, the snail. I had a hard part time with the snail part of it, the, the slimy, sluggy part that comes out. But I think it all turned out pretty good all together. There's the back. I tried to make it look like the pointy end right here. And there's the other side. And here's the snail, slugging along. So that's the first rock. Here's the second rock. And I'm going to be doing a, a salamander on this rock. And I know we've already done one salamander, but this is going to be the orange one. And I thought this was a pretty cool rock to do that on. I'm going to draw a salamander on here. I'm going to start out with the head, and I like this little bump here, so make it look like the head's no. right there, we're going to bring it around, bring his tail down here. And here we are. We have one leg and I'm going to turn it around so I can do this side. This guy's a pretty big So it's looking like he's like thrown right over the edge of the rock. Back leg. So we have the main drawing here. So I'm painting to begin with the base coat of orange. I'm just gonna just outline it more, brighten it up. Actually, as we do things, I think I'm learning along the way. I like the thicker color better, the thicker marker, paint marker better. So I'm redoing 
Now I'm going to add some fine detail with this red marker. And this is the nice thing about markers, you can get more details in. So I'm just going to go underneath. Thousands and thousands, but he made them all unique and special. Use this fine point pen for the eye. I'm just gonna put the put it all on yellow, and then we'll do some more details once that dries. Then I'm gonna take and put dots. The nice thing about these pens is you can put dots fine point dots all the way down its back. All the way down to its tail. Gotta let that eye dry a little bit. I think I will figure out how the shading will go on this. So I want to put the shading on and think about if the sun's coming from this direction and the, the head of the sailor mander might be up a bit. So I'm going to think about that shading a little bit. If the sun's this way, then the tail, if it's up, it's gonna be more, the shade would be more on this side. Uh, right about here. Put in the eye 
and with a finer point I put in the nostrils. So I'm going to start to see how nice these markers are. Just fill it in. At first I wasn't I don't know if I was gonna like the thicker markers, but I do quite a bit. And they dry real quick. We did pretty good. Well, that's it for tonight. Um, I enjoyed doing these projects and had a challenge on the snail. And the salamander was fun because I've already done one. Um, but I got to do it on a bigger rock. So I hope they're happy with that. If you like my channel, um, let me know and push on the like button and also subscribe. Um, I thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.